It's uh, September 27th, day 32 and a half. Going for the midday madness. Terrible morning. <laughs> we uh, covered lots of country and zero elk seen, zero elk heard. We're going back for the, the summit bowl though. Yep, gonna get on today. Mark, better set up. Better set up? Yeah, better set up. Call him in, out of his bed. He's gonna come in 300 yards. Mark's gonna shoot him at mm. 27 yards. 27? Yep. 27 say, broadside. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Steve, what do I you think? I have a pin for that. Pin? Yeah. Are you like Tyler that has a 20, 27 no, yard pin? No, I just do 20, 30, 40. Do you have a 27 Slide. yard pin? Yeah, I started the revolution. You guys just haven't caught on yet? Not gonna happen. Like yeah. everything else. You don't Roosevelt hunt. <laughs> you need a 13 yard pin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, it's uh, tired today for whatever reason. Sleepy. Even after a good night's sleep. Yeah, slept solid last night, till all p.m. But we're going side hill only today. No climbing, because my legs won't handle it. <laughs> so we have to pack it out. No, then we're going downhill. You're going to pick me up down at the bottom. <laughs> all right, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's go kill him. I busted out. Lucky pure elevation hat today, which means Mark's gonna kill a bull. It's kind of a fact, a guarantee if you'll have it. She's been a good one for me. Almost about to retire her. We got a few more, uh, kill this bull. I think retire. a few more tricks up her sleeve. Pro tip number uh, 843. When you've only taken three showers in the last month, when you find a good scented up pint or fir tree, just making sure we're in our business. You take one right here. Oh. So then you have first scented B.O. instead of just bad B.O. Fresh and clean. Well, Mark and Cody have been sitting for the last hour about oh, 400 yards away on the other side of the ridge listening to the house. On this side listening. Nothing. Granted it's midday, but the bull in here yesterday was just screaming. So, a little uh, disheartening. Kind of scouring the maps, trying to figure out where we can go. And uh, honestly, I'm not sure. It's been frustrating. We'll find a way to get it down one way or the other. Just have to hike more. Just airing my boots out. Socks. Found a nice little slope tree. How many, bugles, Cozy. how many bugles did you hear down there? Like 16. Feelers are a little tired, a little sore. Day 30 something. Oh, kind of. It's been pretty slow today. Like slow as in molasses in the middle of winter. Slow, but we're out here. We're hoping that this bull makes a mistake and pops off in this basin. or pops back in it. We've checked a bunch of other country and it's like null and void of sign and this has been one of the best areas we've been in. So something that we don't do very often, but this is called the slow play. I take a breath, I'm not gonna lose. This is what I came in.
14 and a half hours later, we stopped taking our nap. And, uh, no, really, it's actually 3.47. We're gonna slide around the corner. Figured out that bowl was bedded yesterday. He had to stay. Just everything on the back sides just doesn't look elky, so we're banking that he's up here in the head of his base. Mark's gonna go kill him. What just happened, Mark? Just got a response. The uh, summit bowl's still in the same basin. We just kind of came around a corner. First bugle since we kind of rounded into the head of the basin and we got the response, so game on. Okay. We're moving in on this bull. We are gonna get him killed today. Plan is to side hill around, get closer, find out where he is, check the wind. We've got good thermals, but then every once in a while there's a downdraft, so. He's uh, screaming just like yesterday. Every time we bugle, immediately fires off. So, oh man, we're gonna make this happen for Mark. Get our first bull down in Idaho. So, uh, came across this open. He bugled again. Decided to wait here, pinpoint the blast, and he's up. He's literally walking in our in our foot our footsteps from yesterday so we're gonna go up to our saddle that we called him into and then side hill into him the winds kind of that afternoon erratic high winds down the hill up the hill but it's majority blowing this way so we're gonna instead of coming into the right and being exposed we're gonna come in from the back side like it make, make it coming. happen yep plus if they're i think if they're moving that direction at least we're coming in on the back side versus heading right into him. I'm gonna be here so he can't see me like I always set up with that mentality. Just like the most shooting opportunity. Because mm -hmm. then you'll have cases where oh he's just on the other side of that clump of trees. Right. And you you know it's like at the end of the day if you bust him you bust him but you can't kill him if you, you can't kill him. Yeah. yeah. Gotta give it a fair shake for sure. Yeah. Hopefully this, with this country he's in now, it's a little more open. It's so it's gonna be a close. Yeah, you're gonna need to be like a hundred yards. Yeah. Yeah. And he, I think when he turns, he's gonna come quick. Yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering, are they just gonna feed all the way across? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just get to the right spot of setting up, and then try it. Try it. Yeah. They're not going anywhere if they do keep moving. It's yeah. gonna roll over to the next basin. Yeah, we're gonna find him where we found him in the morning. And he may just push him, and we may just have to keep dogging him until all of a sudden he'll be like, gosh dang That's it. Enough. Fred, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you yesterday. Yeah.
Gracias.
Sounds like he's coming back. What was that? That was intense. Missouri boy. Wow. We had him like through this crazy thick stuff. We basically ended up nearly charging right at him. I had him at one time with a lane and a shot at 50 and he just stepped right through it. Coming uphill to circle our wind. We bolted uphill, then dove right back through this thick stuff straight at him. And all of a sudden he's right to our left and screams in our face, like just off. I don't know how he didn't bust us then, but had him like. Had him like 30 and no shot for like a couple minutes. And uh, I think he finally caught our wind. It's been swirling. So Cody was freaking, had him fired up for what felt like an hour, but. Dang, hopefully, probably let him sit and go after him, but he keeps firing up, so we'll see. The cows are doing this thing. Was it, what just happened? We just had a yelling match with a bull. And you I was him. going, hey, you, 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 you. And he was like, I'm going to kick your butt. Ah. He's speechless. <sighs> came to the conclusion that if we didn't have bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck. Sitting here, uh, licking our wounds after that amazing call, like just whole calling experience. Loving it. And then all of a sudden, sound like a tree fell. Bull snuck in, another bull snuck in behind us quietly and busted us. And when did us at about? Well, I saw him at 25 yards, and that was after some hoof steps, so. <laughs> Shouldn't have been eating wheat thins. <laughs> Help food every time. <laughs> every time. Gets you every time. <sighs> I'm emotionally drained right now. <laughs> it's been a long time. Are we live? Are we live? Chai, don't say that. Chai? What does that even mean? Like, I thought it's like an onion. That's chives. Anyways. A little unorthodox, uncut. We, this is a little bit not where you usually see us. Unplanned, uncut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our uncut studio is being painted right now, isn't it? That's what it says. Oh, it says it on the door? It says closed for painting. Oh, so that's going to be cool. You guys are going to see some really neat, neat stuff. It's going to really pop. It's going to really pop. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I've got Weston. Actually, can I, can I real quick? On the last on cut that I was on, you guys saw Trent really making fun of me for fishing in my underwear. I found a little gem last night and uh, posted it on the interweb, on the line. On the line. On the line. And it's a photo of this guy right here with a, uh, granted, he did have a fish in hold his on, Hold on, hold on, what did you say? <laughs> my hearing, because I'm so old. I couldn't hear what you <clears throat> said. Granted what? Granted, he did have a fish in his hand. A giant what? I don't know if it was a giant, I wasn't there. It but was 22 inches. A 22 inch fish in his hand. I will say, although, he did have a fishing pole with him, so that gave him it a little help. bit of extra help. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was not fishing yeah, with the fish. He was pole. cast away. I, okay, he I was. was. He was. And I would have starved. Good chance of it, <laughs> good chance of it. And guess what, I would have too, because he took my last fruit snacks for bait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on. So uh, the hunt, guys. Well, the hunt. I don't know. We weren't there, so I have no idea. No, no. I edited it all out. It's uh, if you put Mark in Steve's spot, you have a giant seven-point bull dead. That's the cool. I think that's probably the coolest bugling scene uh, that we have. Just, one of. One of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. True. One of. I mean, just one yesterday was pretty, pretty rad. Yeah, pretty rad. Yeah, yeah. It was. And the uncut yesterday with my dad was, it was pretty special. It was awesome. It was really, really cool. This bull comes so close to getting an arrow, but we're not done. We are not done, and Trent is pocket dialing Siri right now. I think that's what? what you're doing. Is that what I did? Or you're calling somebody? Yep. That's, that's what I figured. Siri. Yeah, baseball comes so close to getting an arrow. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Do you know how to work that thing? No. Throw it away. Oh, laugh it up, Junior. All right. So, 
So guys, uh, um, oh yeah, where we were that day. That's what I wanted to get on. Oh. Why you don't see us that day is because we rode bugled all morning and that's what it was. We rode bugles, we thought, oh, we could have lightning strike twice. It did not. Then, to be honest, we went to lunch. <laughs> went back to town. We actually went to lunch. Yeah, we we did. So that's then we, we did. We were productive though. We did record a broadcast podcast. We did a podcast, yes, that you guys can listen to. So yeah, we we did a we did a broadcast, but uh, the video footage wasn't that stellar. So anyway, what you see is the stellar footage, honestly, of uh, Team Steve, Cody, and Mark. They really brought it today. We dropped it. We did have some. Wow, wow. Okay. Nope. We nope. did have some good food though. Uh, it was a hoagie roll with a uh, yeah, some a juice, a a ju a juice, a juice sauce, a juice. Whatever. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Shout outs. Do you have any shout outs? I don't have any shout outs, but I do have a shout out for us shouting us out. If you haven't heard so far. After the series ends, mm. the channel is not dead. No, we have no. actually got some pretty cool stuff coming down the pipe for you. Mm. We've got Trevor attempting to shoot ducks, which I'm pretty sure he will eventually shoot a duck on mm. film. Well, maybe. before even before that, we got some. We, we got, got some, some blacktail black adventures, man. We do. We've got some black. A lot of blacktail adventures. We've got youth hunts. We've got Wyatt, my son's hunt. We've got my hunt, me and Trevor's hunt. Mm. We've got, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we have right after the right after the project ends. So don't just like say, oh, well, elk hunting's done, we're out. Please stick with us because fishing season starts soon. And- um, We've got uh, some cool stuff. Some awesome cool stuff. Cool stuff planned with that. Yes, it's gonna be so much fun. So anyway, yeah, as Wes said, please stick with us after this. Don't, don't drop us like a rock. Mm. Or like a top. Please don't say that ever again. You done? I'm done. All right. We have no shout outs. Well, his shout out to the next level of what we're doing. But uh, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. And uh, I'm going to get this cut up because it's, it's about time. We'll see you.